In this fifth video in this series on mini bentles and hemi arch replacement, we're now going to see Professor Tristan Yan doing the distal aortic anastomosis. He'll take the cross clamp off, give antegrade cerebral perfusion, excise the aorta, and perform the anastomosis. So just use unilateral cerebral fusion for so now. Yeah. So we'll just measure roughly about this much into the nominate. Anything beyond that, if we push too far forward, the right and common carotid may not be perfused. That's good. And now we're going to size the distal graft. Uh, this is an aortic graft that's got a side arm which we will replace the aortic cannula once we've done the distal graft and then we'll clamp distal to this. Okay, can we have the flow down and off? Okay, arterial line is cross clamped. Okay, can we drain the blood towards you? Pump sucker up, vent up. Nice. So we're now in circulatory arrest. The aortic pipe can be taken away for the hemi arch. So this is a good view of Tristan just performing uh, the resection of the distal aorta, just proximal to the aortic arch. You can get a bit of a view into the arch of the aorta just down there, the suckers in it. And uh, we've just going to now place the antegrade cerebral perfusion catheter. I believe we've run this at 500 mils a minute. Uh, and as previously said, uh, this patient is at 25 degrees centigrade. Just fixing this to the skin to keep it mainly out of the way. This is a 3.0 proline suture that he's using. Uh, and using a continuous technique. And again, the absolute key to this technique that will be demonstrated shortly is that he is going to do a complete two-layered uh, suture. The first one is going to be this continuous, and then he's going to perform a horizontal mattress suture after that. So we're going to perform the continuous suture on the back wall, exactly as you can see here, uh, and then we're going to parachute the graft down. Again, one thing I did notice from Tristan's technique is how close together he performs these sutures. He's very efficient and quick with his movements, but also very consistent and very close together uh, with his suturing. He doesn't accept any errors, mistakes or tears uh, and is extremely meticulous uh, throughout his whole technique which again is key to preventing any bleeding post-operatively. So we're just uh, doing the back wall so at regular intervals uh, he will stop his suturing and uh, get the hook out and really just tighten every single suture this is especially important on the back wall as this really isn't reachable post-operatively. And now he performs a line of horizontal mattress pledgeted sutures. Now, I'd not seen this before, but this is on the inside uh, of the graft. Um, the pledgets are on the inside uh, when you do an aortic valve replacement. Uh, on the flow of blood, so there is actually nothing conceptually at all different to these ones uh, that will be inside the lumen of the aortic graft. So it's actually an excellent idea. And so he's got a horizontal mattress and he puts a pledget on both sides. You can see he's got two needle holders. He's passing one to Professor Misfield, who's then passing that needle through the second pledget. And then he's going to be able to tie every single one down uh, with a pledget on either side that provides a very strong and hemostatic uh, suture line. So on this back wall he's going to have the pledgets uh, all on the inside as it would be technically very difficult to put them on the outside. 
uh, and uh, and not necessary. And then on the side and the front wall, he will put the pledgets on the outside uh, later in the procedure. And I suppose, again, it should be noted that even though uh, this is a mini stenotomy uh, and a very small incision, you actually get perfect vision uh, throughout. So Tristan has obviously got better vision than we have, as he can see perfectly in there. But even next to him, we're getting a great view from a camera above the table. So he's done all the horizontal mattress sutures and now he's going to continue uh, the anastomosis. As I say, this is 3O proline. Uh, when he does the reinforcing layer, uh, he uses 4O for the second layer. When he comes to do the coronary buttons, he uses 5 o. So now we've gone across to the left-hand side just to perform the continuous suture uh, coming round clockwise on the aorta to come and finish at the very top. We've obviously, uh, in the way of this suture line, we've got the anterograde cerebral perfusion catheter and also a suction catheter down the arch of the aorta into the distal aorta to create a bloodless field. And shortly uh, we'll be taking these out to complete this distal anastomosis. So we're now going to place the aortic cannula back into the side arm so that we can reinstitute cardiopulmonary bypass. Uh, we affix this twice uh, with a black suture, with a silk suture. And obviously these will all be removed towards the end. We'll just uh, cut this sidearm graft off later. We're just now removing the antegrade cerebral perfusion catheter, which was in the anominate artery. So we're now just doing the final few continuous sutures at the uh, front of the distal anastomosis. Again, using the hook throughout to get make sure these are tight. Proline does have a tendency to loosen. So we've uh, tied the knot, having filled up and de-aired. So it's just de-airing right now. We'll clamp this and re we'll reinstitute cardiopulmonary bypass. And that was a circulatory arrest time, although it was with cerebral perfusion of only about uh, 17 minutes. So we've now recommenced uh, bypass. The flow has been returned to the patient and warming has been commenced. But again, you do get an absolutely outstanding view uh, even through this very small incision. And again, I'm sure you can appreciate a great view there. And this is continuing from that previous layer that was on the inside, we're now continuing on the outside. And he had a knot just to mark exactly where that was, just on this side so that no area got left without reinforcement. It does help to have a good efficient team and an excellent assistant uh, just placing the pledgets. Obviously we're very lucky in this to have Professor Martin Misfield who's uh, the co-director of the Leipzig Heart Institute and also performs uh, these operations. He's a visiting professor uh, in Sydney and so does come regularly to assist and teach uh, with these cases. And so now we're just placing that last horizontal mattress suture uh, and that's the distal anastomosis performed.